Welcome to Skybrush Studio for Blender. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import an external STL file as part of the drone show. We create a takeoff grid now with 300 drones that appear immediately in the 3D viewport editor. Then, we import an external STL file, a supported format for storing 3D mesh data. Note that the same procedure applies to other formats such as OBJ. We will use this bird shape now as part of our animation. We scale it down with S and move it around with G that stands for grab. We switch to edit mode with the tab key and use the merge by distance operator to reduce the number of vertices. We open its properties and start to tune the distance parameter. You can check out here how many vertices remained in the bird. We need to tune the distance so that we get exactly 300 vertices in the object. We're all set. Now we have a good number of vertices to assign to our 300 drones. We go to the Object Data Properties window now and create a new vertex group called Drones. We assign all 300 vertices to this vertex group and set this vertex group to the one that will be used by the drone show. Now we switch back to edit mode with the tab key and initialize a new formation from these selected objects, which is the bird now. When we append the formation to the storyboard, proper transition times are calculated automatically, which takes some time. We also update the automatic transition between the takeoff grid and the bird formation with a click. Finally, we update the markets on the timeline to show our formations. Let's hide the bird and check out the show. You can see a beautiful, smart transition from the takeoff to the bird. And since the formation is assigned to the vertex group, we can also animate it conveniently with standard Blender tools. We make the original bird object visible again and add a location keyframe to the beginning of its scene. Then we go to another frame, move the bird, and add another keyframe. Since our drone objects are constrained to the bird vertices in this scene, they also move beautifully together with the bird object. Thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, we start to add colored lights to the drones.